I can't see you, but I know you're up there, reader. Please, she's in your hands now. Quill, you're far too important to risk yourself for me. The greater good must always come before matters of the heart. Will didn't understand. He was our family. He'd always come first. But she knew better than to argue. on ahead. I'll stay a few steps behind. You focus on getting to the throne.
Quill was awestruck. This was the legendary throne room, the same room where her uncle was once knighted by the king. All clear. She called back to her uncle. I've waited years for this moment. By all that's good in this world, I hope it's still locked. Ha! The fools never figured it out. He snickered. Uncle Argus then turned to Quill with a wink and a smirk and plunged his blade into the throne. His sword was the key. But the triumph soon faded as they descended into the eerie quietude of the secret chamber. Please be safe. Her uncle pleaded under his breath, with an air of unease Quill had never heard before. A voice barked back. I'd retreat if I were you. Dark, dark magic afoot here. One whip of my wand and a swarm of undead wasps will scour you alive. Her uncle laughed. <laughs> Barnard, don't tell me all this time alone has you communing with the dead. I... I don't have undead wasps. Total bluff! He chuckled. My dear August, I can't believe it's really you! I'm so sorry, fretted her uncle. I tried to get back to you so many times. I just couldn't kill that vicious snake. Their long-awaited embrace was cut short. Argus! Barnard panicked. I feel the reader's presence! The usurper followed you in! No, Barnard! This is Quill, my next of kin and a twofold champion. They... Barnard spent Hours recounting his years in hiding, protecting the King's Glass from the Arcane. 